Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here. We're at the museum. We're going to what? Um. Hi. How are you doing? You doing good? I'm gonna just read this piece of paper right here. Is someone walking around? No. Damn funny, you scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now would you put the damn raptor back in it for exhibit? Oh, and don't leave your keys lying around or Marshall will fire your ass. Okay. So, are there like keys just somewhere around here then? Maybe? I don't know, let's, I guess we'll look really quick. Um. <laughs> Okay, I'm like freaking out, so I'm just gonna be like around the corner. Um, it's like open in my face. Oh, there's the keys. So, oh, okay. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Oh, hi. Really? Oh, my. Um, okay, can I go through here? Is it coming? I don't want to go to the bathroom. No, open. Computer. Computer songs. Um, okay, email. Password, I don't know. Okay. Reminder. Just a reminder. Doctor in. Okay, so it's that doctor. It's gonna be here. It's here now? Finish. Oh. The statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night and I swear I thought I saw it move. This isn't another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. Oh, it's that, um, thing. Thanks. Uh, whatever. Yay, they have a virus now. So I thought I saw something. Whatever. But, okay. Lost and found. God damn it. Mm. Anybody in the bathroom? Hold on. Um. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you'd really be in the bathroom. I wonder... Give me in. Let's see. Oh, I could just jump down and just fuck him up. Alright. Let's see, what's this? Mm. Aha! I found keys! You could just mess your day up, dude. Okay, I'm back in the room. That's all I had to do? Um, of course not. Let's see. Office. No, I want to go in there. Okay. So, let's see. Um. Oh, I guess if you came here and you didn't know that you needed keys. Okay. Of course not. Of course I wouldn't get anything in here. Um, okay. Oh! I'll take pills. 
<laughs> I'll take the pills for you. Um, save real quick. Because I guess I'm going, yep, basement instead. Use the basement key. Museum tour, stay on green line. Red line areas are restricted to museum personnel. Ah, it's a good thing about this. What's this? Nothing. Oh, snap. I might need that. I wish he'd move. Please move. Please, come on, move. How come I can do it from that far away? Oh god, please don't touch me. Camera's one. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me back there. Disable. Cameras too. Uh, disable. So is that all that was there? Where is he? Oh! I was actually a little worried. So There's like a bunch of empty rooms. So now these cameras aren't going anymore. I want to find that thing. <gasps> Is that it? I don't see a thing. No. Oh, what's this? Email. I hate my job. John. John Johansson. Uh, FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson. Um, personally, I think he'd prefer not to be pressured by the ja junior staff. God, of course. If you have a question, I'll try to ask him for it. Okay, fetish. Relax him. I had him move to... The move the statue to another office oh and it told me to say hi change code um 2358 I guess it's that thing I'll probably forget it to see results sorry I started coughing um View. Uh, is. Okay. So he was in here. I gotta go find it now. Let's see. Where's this one leave me? I'm supposed to jump there, okay. Woohoo! So, what does this thing look like? There it is. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Got it? Okay. Let me in! Or out! Oh, god. I know I got the cameras off, but I'm just doing this just in case um, someone starts walking around because that would be my- See? 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 What the fuck? Oh, no. I'm actually kind of worried he's going to run into me. Please put that away. You're, you're scaring me. Oh, oh my god. He's going to see this and freak out. Because see, if I try to run by him, I'm going to like- Watch. I would like freaking bump into him even if I'm against the wall. Um, 
Oh, he's an idiot. It was what? 2358? I need to check. I need to check. Oh, I was actually right. That's a first. This is it, right? Yeah, B2. 2358. Awesome. Okay. Are there any. Okay, yep, there's cameras. Wait, there's, I disabled those two, didn't I? Okay. I still don't want to, like, be running into somebody. Hello. Hello. You can see that. <laughs> I really didn't want to do that. Oh, shit. Don't slaughter these people, right? Right? I'm so confused. I really need to go in there, though. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fucking do that? Fuck you, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Come here. I'm gonna overkill this. Come here. I don't even give a fuck anymore. I really don't. Pull up my guns. Assholes. What's that? I don't need that. Well, that doesn't help me. Okay, so beams and alarm does not help. So I killed them for nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. killing you. I am so pissed right now because that didn't do a single fucking thing for me. What? I'd have to kill this asshole anyways. Nah! So I had to kill somebody. Alright, I'm ready to kill people now. But how did the alarm just go off again? And it's gone, by the way. Really? Got to be fucking kid. Hey! I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Um, hi? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Did you get to me at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. I know what the first one is, just the second one. No one I know has ever met one. 
But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire, an antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and hear everything. Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess we'll just listen to everything. Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch, a place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Okay. Oh, can you tell me more about Thin Bloods? <laughs> Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Okay. As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Hi. What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Okay, that's all fascinating stuff. For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Um, we are predatory species like lions, or mutations with powers like comic books. Um, we're the next evolution of human beings, why not? Yes, I've heard that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. I agree. <laughs> Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. Um, goodbye. I, oh, okay, I don't have to go back out. I really don't give a fuck I killed those guards. I had to kill that one guy anyways to get the freaking card off of him. Uh, whatever. He can be pissed all he fucking wants. Alright. Oh, God, you're walking towards me. <laughs> Don't walk towards me. Alright, so I just have to... Blah, blah, blah. Um. Okay. Oh, lovely. Into a cutscene. Into a cutscene? Oh, God. From one loading screen to another. I can't speak today. Yep, I just, I can't do it. And you go upstairs. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I'm starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> that monkey always gets his man. Okay. <laughs> uh, say, fruit pie, if you're still up and about in a few hours, uh, why don't you stop by at the end of my shift and I'll treat you to breakfast, huh? Endless stack of flapjacks, little boysenberry syrup, your security teddy bear. Um, <laughs> you are my sunshine. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, good lord. Okay, it's this one. 
I love how it just automatically opens for me. It's just like, bitch, come to this one, don't fuck around. That don't look good, he's standing over there. He's probably mad at me because I, like, killed four people. I really just need to kill the one, but I got pissed. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. What? <laughs> what is this about? You're swept by everyone in the city for your leadership. If you made some good decisions once in a while, uh... I'll say the second one. I'll try to be nice. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Fuck you. Everyone... Everyone respects you. Now what's this all about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for oh the God. murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Um, <laughs> you about to be pissed about the sarcophagus. It appears it it appears to have been stolen. I can't even fucking tell you it right. <laughs> stolen. Um. Stolen? How? Who would? Oh, Gary. Gary, you. Treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. What the fuck? Um, Gary? <laughs> the Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. Okay. I like how he hasn't said anything about the four people I killed, though. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't give a shit now. <laughs> the Nos. <laughs> I want him found. I want him found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, I feel like it shouldn't be found in your hands either. Uh, I'll find Gary in the sarcophagus. Uh, whatever. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I guess I should probably go talk to the Anarchs. They're probably like, Why the fuck? You bitch! You traitorous bitch! <laughs> oh god. Oh. Come on. Let's go talk to them. Okay this way. This should be fun. Get out of my way! You just push me back. How the fuck? Oh, lord. Well, you know what? Let's go talk to him first and see what he has to say about any of this. Oh, loud for me once again, but not loud for you guys at least. All right, gonna yell. Fuck, you got a lot of nerves showing up here, man. I just saw him there. Don't expect to see him. 
I love that. You did what you had to do. Just a message. He's not mad at me. What do you think happened? It's a ruse by LaCroix, so you can call the blood on a nine. Standard smear job, textbook cami bullshit. Nines has enough kindred protection. Um what can I do to help? <laughs> you just eager to please, can't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as you would. I can do that. Just a second. I heard you were down poking around the museum. I was there, I'm just gonna tell him straight up. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. He gets such a fierce bug in that powder freak of his. <laughs> I'm being straightforward with Jack, because I like Jack. He's the only one that's been straightforward with me and all of bullshit, too. Um, why, though? Why does he want it so bad? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce it off your suit, you think? You ever hear of, uh, the Avery? Um, haven't I? Oh, uh, what is that? Well, it's when a vampire trains another more powerful vampire to death. The Avery is the Sabbat specialty, mm. but it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. Okay, so I so I did hear about it, because, sorry, um, what's his face was telling me about it? Why is this happening? Oh, fuck, I hit Q inst God, instead of one. When a younger vampire diablerizes I see. Well, you don't think. The prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? I wonder. I wonder. Maybe he's just trying to keep out. No. I doubt it. What should I do? He wants me to bring it to him. Um. What should I do? You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any Anyone who has a sarcophagus is going to think of the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. Sure. Yeah, I guess. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it are two different things. Um, okay. How do you know that? <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Um. What's on your mind? I'm out of here. Okay, let's go talk to her. She's probably gonna be really pissed. Heard anything? It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Lousy aristocrat bastard. Oh. Whatever. I'm gonna run out of here before the music starts again. Oh my god. That music is like so freaking loud. Okay, so now we gotta go to Hollywood it was? <sighs> so, let's see. Yeah. Uh, he, oh, okay. Oh, right, guys, I can go ahead and give this to her. Let me go ahead and give this to her and then I'll, um, before I end it. In the episode, I guess. Alright. Wait, I can run through here. Is it like quicker or something? I don't know. Maybe? Probably not. Fuck! God damn it. <laughs> What? I'll take that. I got a new watch. I got a new watch. I got a new watch. Don't do it. Alright. Where is she again? She's right here. Aha. I have something for you. Come here. Uh. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down we fall. God, I thought there was something up there. There we go. Hi. Whoa. Hi. 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 Yes. Um, here's the item for the museum. 
Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Oh wow. It looks like a wet rotting pig's face. Uh, thanks. Another question? Um, no, just great. I'll be back if I find anything else. So, um, there it is. Oh my god, it has a fucking eye. That is weird. Huh. Okay. Alrighty then. So, I'm going to end the episode here as I'm walking. And next time we will be going. Oh, okay. Oh no, I hit shift. Oh no, I hit it again. Oh no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's a good way to come to end of an episode. <laughs> but next time we will be going to um, Hollywood to go find. What's his name? Isaac? Yeah, to go find Isaac. So, next time that's what we will be doing. We go figure out where the Nosferatu are and all that good stuff. So, hey, dude. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.